Hello students, in my previous video, I will describe about work and we discussed that if force applied on object displace it, then work is said to be done and we can calculate work done equal to F into S or fs also we can write and the factors on which work depends are force applied and displacement produced today in this video we discuss about energy energy must be essential to do work because we have to apply force while doing work and without energy we can't apply force therefore our work done depends upon how much energy we apply or energy applied by us to apply force we have to use energy and therefore we can define energy as a the capacity to do work is called energy and here we define at first energy it can be defined as as capacity to do work or energy is the capacity to do work Listen. how much work done by object that much energy possesses in it and therefore energy is equal to work done it is measured by or calorie meter is used to energy used to measure energy possesses by object used to measure it or energy SI unit of energy is Joule CGS unit is here and here CGS unit of energy is Rs but CGS unit of heat energy is here called calorie it is in short represented by CAL and Joule by G and how much or what is the relationship between calorie and joule? One calorie equal to 4.2 joule in term of heat energy. And that is why because one joule heat energy equal to or we can define one joule heat as a amount of heat energy needed to increase temperature of one kilogram water by one degree celsius and 4200 joule needed to increase temperature of one kilogram water by one degree celsius and one calorie heat is defined as or one calorie energy is defined as amount of heat energy needed to increase temperature of one gram of water by one degree celsius if to increase Temperature of 1 kg water, we need 4200 Joule heat energy and to increase temperature of 1 gram water, we need 42 divided by 1000, that is 4.2 Joule, Joule heat energy. And here we know that here energy is most essential and energy found in universe in different forms these are called forms of energy
and the object from which we get energy are called sources of energy. Energy found in various form like a mechanical energy, other mechanical energy is of two types, potential energy and kinetic energy. Other is your electrical energy, heat energy, light energy, sound energy, chemical energy, several forms of energy are found. And here we discuss about some common form of energy like a nuclear energy. Yes, these are also form of energy. Energy processes by magnet, magnetic energy. And here we respectively describe about various form of energy. At first we describe about mechanical energy. And here Energy present in body due to its position or position of rest and motion is called mechanical energy. When object is at rest, then also it possesses certain amount of energy in its body. And when it is at mo when it is in motion, then also energy find in it. Therefore, at first we define about First form of energy is mechanical energy. And which form of energy is called mechanical energy? The energy present in a body, in the body due to its Position is called mechanical energy. And here already we know that objects are generally found in two positions, either at rest or in motion. And due to that reason, mechanical energy is of two types or it is of two types. And how we classify that mechanical energy? The first type of mechanical energy is potential energy. Potential energy in short denoted by PE. Same as a mechanical energy, the energy possesses in a body due to its position of rest is called potential energy. When any object is at rest on the ground or from certain distance to the surface of a ground on that condition, it's or it contains potential energy in it. And here we write energy present in the body due to its position of rest is called potential energy. Potential energy and that potential energy can be calculated by mgh mass of body acceleration due to gravity and height from the ground level or earth surface and also we can prove it as a we consider any object is on the table the height of table from ground is here H. 
object having mass m on that condition which energy object is at rest therefore it possesses which energy potential energy in it and let us consider object of mass m is on the table of height as from the ground and here object is at certain height and therefore how much work done by that object that depends upon energy processes in it and here we write work done by object or potential energy present in it is equal to the work done why because we know that to do work energy is necessary or energy is most essential to apply force and therefore we define it as a potential energy equal to work done therefore potential energy present in body equal to work done and potential energy is calculated by or work done is calculated by f into s or force applied and displacement produced in case of here object what is displacement produced displacement from the ground is here h therefore s equal to h or displacement of that object from the ground is here s and from newton's second law of motion we know that f equal to m into g m into a here earth produce acceleration equal to acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity acted on it is here g due to its weight it applied force also we can write how much force applied that is equal to m into g we can define it both way due to mass of object it apply force on the ground which is equal to its weight and therefore we can write potential energy equal to m into g into s get replaced by it which is called p equal to mg h proved and various type of objects are found which contains potential energy like a stressed rubber a stressed rubber or catapult simply a stretch rubber is found and that possesses which energy potential energy when we release it then come in motion or kinetic it potential energy change into kinetic energy and then can be work done other gun ready to fire just loaded gun also we can write or ready to loaded gun loaded gun contains potential just ready to fire and after firing potential energy present in it change into kinetic energy can be utilized other we can write water in a dam in a dam water found at a rest and that possesses potential energy when it flooded or flow through lower altitude than potential energy present in kinetic energy and can be utilized similarly other we can write athletes ready to run 
in that condition also potential energy present so these all objects which is at a rest like a, now marker is at certain position from ground and we, if uh, it is ready to drop on that condition potential energy present in it and how potential energy can be utilized or obtained the potential energy can be utilized by converting it into or it can be utilized by potential energy firstly transferred to kinetic energy that kinetic energy applied to do work simply potential energy can't be utilized in same state firstly we convert potential energy to kinetic energy that kinetic energy is useful to do work and we can utilize potential energy present in it after that next type of mechanical energy is kinetic energy when object is in motion then due to its motion energy present in it due to its velocity energy present in it such energy is called kinetic energy that kinetic energy can be or is denoted by ke and can be defined as the or energy present in in the body due to position of motion is called or due to motion of body also we can write kinetic energy that kinetic energy can be calculated by ke equal to 1 by 2 mv square it is formula to calculate kinetic energy also we can prove it suppose we consider any object is moving on a straight line its initial velocity or begins to move from rest after certain time its achieve velocity b and displacement produced is s and it takes time to to cover that displacement acceleration produced on it a and here we write let us consider object having mass m is in motion object is in motion its initial velocity and final velocity are u and v it cover displacement produced there as in time t then how much kinetic energy present in it the kinetic energy present in is equal to work done Listen. same as a energy is the capacity to do work therefore kinetic energy is equal to work done and work done can be calculated by f into s and from equation of motion we know that listen b square minus u square equal to 2 a s listen that and s becomes b square minus u square by 2 a another from newton's second law of motion we know that f equal to m into a since 
and we replace these two value of this equation of value of displacement produced from equation of motion value of force from second law of motion we found that m into a into b square minus u square by 2a a, a get cancelled and when object begins to move from rest then u equal to 0 and in this way m into b square by 2 or 1 by 2 mb square also we can write in this way we can prove that kinetic energy can be calculated by product of mass and a square of the velocity divided by 2 if listen here velocity increases twice then how much change in here change in kinetic energy takes place and that can be explained with help of we know that kinetic energy equal to 1 by 2 mv square here already given that v equal to 2v twice velocity get increased and 1 by 2 remains same mass into 2v square which is equal to 1 by 2 m 4v square which is equal to 4 by 2 or also we can write 4 into 1 by 2 mv square that is 4 into kinetic energy listen 4 times kinetic energy increases when velocity becomes double and in this way from this formula we can calculate how much change in kinetic energy takes place due to change in mass change in velocity and we can solve a problem related to potential energy kinetic energy in the next video we solve numerical problem related to work done potential energy processes in the body kinetic energy processes in the body. Thank you.